I want to talk today a little bit about rushing. Often misunderstood in my opinion. Um, one of the most common things coaches will say is like you're rushing, you're rushing, you're rushing. Really how we look at rushing and how the, the arm and the lower body play together is they have to be kind of be harmonious. So what we're really trying to do is time up at that front foot strike where the arm is at in space. So how we look at timing of the arm and in terms of rushing, we want to get to the top of our leg kick, what we call OJ. Once I get to the top of my OJ, we don't really want to be stopped in terms of momentum. What we don't want to do is we don't want our first motion to be aggressive down the mound and then my arm is left behind. So a phrase that I often use is millimeters to miles, meaning as I lift my leg, I only want to gain, if there was like a, a window pane of glass here, as I lift, I only want my hip to gain a few millimeters at first until I get to the top of my OJ and then I want it to travel miles. One of the other cues we talk about is keeping your hand, uh, the ball kind of connected to your foot like a string, meaning when I come to the top of my OJ, as my foot comes down, I want to pretend like the ball is connected to my foot. So as I come down, the ball comes out with me. And so that timing mechanism of ball goes with foot generally gives you a pretty good framework to go with it. But as a general rule, the glove and ball or your ball and foot should be kind of tied together. So the next time you hear some, your coach say, hey, you're rushing, slow down. Generally, we've never found slowing down um, helps. What we really want to try to do is be more on time. And how can you try to get there is really try to think about the timing of your hand separation relative to your foot strike.